the world is not going to be the same again. We heard this phrase repeatedly in news as opinions and analysis and forecast. The truth is, all of us are guessing. No matter how the world will be, whether we are going to get rid of COVID or not, there are few essential skills that you must acquire so that you can get ahead in the game. These are comprehensive skills that will not just help you survive, but also thrive in what is considered as the new normal. The first one is positive mindset. Sure, the weather out there is doom and gloom, but the person with the positive mindset has the ability to look beyond. Positive mindset is not about being happy and upbeat all the time. It's not about flowery good mornings or motivational quotes. It's about what you think really in your mind and that translates to how you behave. Businesses love positive people. You know why? Because consistency and creativity comes from them. The second skill is adaptability and flexibility. If there's one thing that we can be certain in the uncertainty is that businesses will change the way they work. Some jobs will disappear and there will be new type of jobs created. How you're able to adapt to this and change yourself to the needs of the situation will help you get ahead and succeed. Not only this, being adaptable and flexible will help you and your company in customer acquisition and retention. Because like us, even our customers are changing and adapting to their needs will help us determine the profitability for our companies. The third key skill is creativity and innovation. We've already seen the importance of creativity in this lockdown. Businesses thrive only when they come up with innovative products or services. The biggest example is how few automobile companies have decided to manufacture life-saving ventilators. Mercedes F1 began producing life-saving breathing aids. The world needs a workforce that can innovate, invent and help pivot businesses into the new direction. Creativity and innovation is therefore an essential skills to have in the post-COVID world. The fourth skill is critical thinking. If there is one skill that is absolutely essential right now, that is critical thinking. With countries shutting down the businesses, there has been a spike in fake news and misrepresentation of data. Businesses need people who can objectively evaluate this information and determine what is credible and what's not. Critical thinking will help in this. It will help businesses analyze and dissect information so that they can view it from an unbiased standpoint and offer relevant solutions. Critical thinking will also help businesses take informed decisions. The fifth key skill is learning mindset. Did you know that in the next five years, 35% of the essential skills that we know of are going to change? It's not me who's saying it, it's World Economic Forum that said it. The only way to stay relevant in the new normal is to commit to a lifelong learning. And it's so easy now. There are endless free and open courses that will help you increase and improve your skills. But it is your learning mindset that will make you pick and do that course. In fact, the current lockdown is a fantastic opportunity for you to improve your skills so that you're ready when the market opens up. So those are the five key skills I have for you today. Let me quickly rephrase them for you. The first one is positive mindset. Second is adaptability and flexibility. The third is creativity and innovation. The fourth one is critical thinking. And the fifth and the most important of them all is to have a learning mindset. I began with a positive mindset and I've ended with a learning mindset. What do you think of these? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to have more information on any of the skills and how you can upskill yourself, do reach out to me or visit our website. All the details are given in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.